back to my channel my name is Lay, and I do beauty self-care and a little bit of lifestyle so if you're interested in looking good smelling good and feeling good this could possibly be the channel for you so please consider subscribing today's video is going to be on this yellow cut crease using this morphe palette um, like I said before I don't know how to pronounce this girl's name but I do follow her on Instagram and I do love her content so I wanted to play in makeup today and I wanted to use this palette I'm going to primarily be focusing on that bottom um, you know section of this color story which she has three she has a pink a blue and like a neutral tone with more like yellows and oranges so that's pretty much primarily where I'm going to be focusing um, I just kind of wanted to play in makeup and just kind of go in like real like quick today so I'm blending this white in with my neutral tone eyeshadow because I'm going to be trying to create like this cut crease this like brownish almost like Simba like color I'm going to be placing in the crease area as my transitional shade it really blends well with my skin so it's perfect for this look And once I have that shade kind of blended in, I'm going to take away like this, I'm almost like creating my cut crease or creating the shape that I want to do. There's probably an easier way to do this. You can just, instead of using that like camel color, if it is your skin tone, you can just create the cut crease like this and then trace on the outer portions of it. But yeah, I didn't do that. So I'm creating my like lid color. I really don't know like what to call this. But I'm creating that using the white eye base from Morphe. Now I'm going to go in with this color called Boo and B. It's this really pretty like honeycomb type yellow. Like this is the type of yellow you would picture a honeycomb looking like. Or at least I think bumblebee when I see this. It would be really cool if I did like a honeycomb type situation. Having an artistic moment right now. Definitely. Um, anyways, I'm putting that all over my lid and I did... Um, mix the front portion with the shade Goranzo. Anyways, going back in with that color, that like Simba color. Oops, something fell, sorry. But I'm going in with the Simba color. It is actually called Chai Latte Please. I'm going to place that on the outer portion to kind of create like some depth. Now I'm using my Essence Matte Liquid Liner. I love this liner so much. Thank you, Alexa. Anyway, this is my Essence um, Matte Liquid Liner. I've had this liner for over a year and it's still going strong. Um, probably one of the best liquid liners I've used, especially considering the fact that I don't like liquid liners. So I'm just creating a wing and then for absolutely no reason at all, I just kind of trace the outer portion of this crease with the black. I don't really have a rhyme or reason, I just wanted to see if it would look cute and it kind of did, it was alright. Um, I liked it, I will say that I did like it. And then I'm going to pull, I'm um, kind of like cat eye the inner corner of my eye to kind of draw that in. I don't really know why, I just, I like this, I like the way this little like point here makes your eyes look. So I'm cleaning it up using some micellar water and then I'm coating my lashes using this Essence What The Fake Voluminous Mascara. So this, I don't know what's up with this mascara, it's not my favorite by Essence. The one I like the most is like the curl lace one. You see it in the majority of my videos. This one, I don't think it has a stopper so there's usually so much product on it. It could have just been a faulty one but you know, whatever. For lashes, I'm using the Taco Lashes by Glamlight, and we're going to place that on top. Um, I really like these lashes. Glamlight has a really nice, um, I like their theme, and they have some really nice lashes on there. I haven't picked any in a while, but I do have a couple of their lashes, and I do like them, so give them a shot. Mm -hmm. 
Now moving on to face, we're starting by moisturizing. I'm using my e.l.f. Super Hydrate Moisturizer. It is a jelly-like moisturizer. Y'all see me use this all the time and I'm just going to work that into my skin before moving on to primer. Now before I added the powder and the setting spray, I should have added my primer, but I mean, you can go at it however you want. Um, this is the Wet n Wild um, Hydrating Serum. It is a really nice hydrating primer, which is why I feel like I should have put it under the primer because now it's just sitting on top of powder. It still looks nice nonetheless, but I mean, just for like efficiency, I guess? Or you know, I don't know, I don't know. For foundation, I've been loving my Fenty Beauty foundation. This is a great full coverage foundation and it definitely makes your skin look matte and skin-like. Um, mine's broke, so I have to be really careful. And this is not a cheap foundation, so I literally have to twist off the top because my pump broke and I have to do like a Maybelline type situation with it. But it's cool, it's fine, it's fine. We're still using the product. So I'm just patting that in using a foundation brush. Um, I believe this one is by Morphe. I could be mistaken, but yeah. Then I lost the footage for everything else. Don't judge me. So since I lost like my under eye um, footage and the cream blush and bronzer and everything, I am gonna have all those products listed in my description box. Um, all of the products that I use typically are in the description box down below so if you are interested in what I use it will be down there um, now I'm just going to tight line underneath my eyes using this ColourPop cream eyeliner I love this eyeliner this and the essence one are my favorite for my waterline just because they're nice and creamy so it doesn't tug on the lower lash line which is really annoying and now I'm using the what the fake mascara again and I'm going to coat my lower lashes I'm not going to put any eyeshadow under there because I don't want to blush I'm going to now for blush I'm going to be using this gingerly blush by Mac I love this blush so much it's really nice on um, warmer skin tones it's just so pretty Mac has really good blushes by the way it, they they are hands down one of my favorite blushes and then for highlighter I'm going in with Boomin this is by ColourPop it was their collaboration with makeup by Shayla um, and it's a good highlighter. If you can find anything similar to it, I'm not sure if they still have this on sale anymore. Um, I've had this for a while, and I know that usually when they do collabs, they get rid of the products, which I don't know why they do that. But, you know, anything to make a buck. So that's what I am using as my highlighter. And then you're going to set your whole face. I love my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I definitely need another bottle, but I mean, until this one gives out, we're just going to, you know, keep, keep her pushing. And then we're gonna move on to lips. For my lips, I think I am going to start by lining them using this NYX Urban Cafe super long name lip liner. Um, it is, again, down in the description. I'm gonna use that to um, line my lips and then I'm gonna go in with my lipstick or my lip gloss. So for lipstick, we're going to keep it with MAC. I'm using this MAC Peach Stock Lip Bullet and I'm just going to place that on my lips and then mix it into my lip liner, kind of blend it together. And then that completes my look. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Please consider liking, subscribing to my channel, and yeah, I, I think it's great over here, so go ahead, join the family. Until next time, beauties, talk to you later. Bye.